And welcome to the Fit Booty on Graciela TV. I'm your host, Graciela Barada. Thanks for joining me in another fabulous episode of the Fit Booty on GTV, where I serve up a hot dish of this and that. Today, I'm going to be making for you a quick and easy meal that you can have for lunch or dinner. And it's all about what you have in the fridge. So, this is something that I make for myself all the time when I am pressed for time. And one thing that I always have in my fridge is tofu. Now, Tofu is not just for vegetarians and vegans. When made properly, it's an extremely tasty protein. So let's get that out. Now, tofu is the kind of thing that stays in your fridge really well for a long amount of time. So that's why this is my go-to meal when I'm pressed for time. Um, and the way that I open the tofu, you have to do this over the sink or over a garbage can because it spills out. So you want to cut the sides off and get my little garbage can out here. You want to just slice the plastic on the sides and there it goes spilling out. And you want to get all of the water out. Now once you've drained it of all the water, you're going to take that out and put it on your cutting board. This is now just a block of tofu. But what you need to do, and a lot of people don't, is pat all the extra water out because that's what results in it being mushy. So here I'm using some firm or extra firm tofu, whichever one you can find. And I feel it's important to say to look for non-GMO tofu. That means that it's not genetically modified. You want the real stuff. So let me get some paper towels now. And you want to pat out as much water as you possibly can. So my method is to start with the whole block, kind of squeeze out as much as you can. You'll need a few paper towels for this. One more. And all that extra water just makes it mushy, so I like my tofu to resemble meat as much as possible. Now that you've gotten the water out of the whole block, I'm going to slice it in half. Okay, so slice it in half this way. And then we're going to get some more water out of the two separate blocks. You'll be surprised how much comes out too. Great, now once I've done that, I'm going to take my two blocks and slice them into cubes. Great, now our tofu is ready to be stir-fried. And I'm going to add some scallions. I love the flavor that scallions give tofu. And the trick with tofu is to really season it well because it has no flavor on its own. So you really just need to add a ton of herbs and spices. So I'm gonna show you my little mix today. Now, another thing that I always have in the fridge is a little baggie of chopped up garlic and onion. And this makes my job a whole lot easier when I'm in a rush. So I just take this out of the fridge, which also keeps really well for about a week, week and a half. I don't like to keep it any longer than that because it is fresh produce. And it, I just pop it out of the fridge and use it whenever I need. I'm always using onions and garlic, so this is a really handy thing to have. Now I'm going to make my little spice mixture. Here I've got one fresh bay leaf and you will be so surprised at the amount of flavor that comes out of this one little leaf. So let me put this aside. Now I'm going to take my dry spices. I'm going to put about a teaspoon and a half of salt in here. Okay. 
Now I've got a dash of cayenne pepper for a little kick. And if you don't like spicy, you definitely don't have to include this. Coriander is my favorite spice to add to tofu. I'm going to be using about two to two and a half teaspoons of coriander. Next, I've got about a teaspoon of cumin. Okay, now I'm just going to mix that around. And we're going to sprinkle this right over the tofu as it's stir frying. So I like to mix them all together so that it's evenly coated. Great, now let's go to the stove. Okay, here I've got some extra virgin olive oil heating on about medium to medium high. I'm going to just dump all of my onion garlic mixture right in. And I'm going to add to that the bay leaf so that it can start opening up and the flavor can start coming out right away. Next, I'm going to add my scallions. So what you want to do is let this stir fry for just about two to three minutes before you add the tofu so that all the flavors can come out and the oil is ready for the tofu. So let's give that a few minutes. I'm going to get some sesame oil, and this is going to be a flavor that I'm adding, so I'm not using this to fry, this is just to give some flavor. So you want to use about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of the sesame oil. Now, while that's stir frying, let me get my last ingredient. So here I've got some mixed veggies, and these are just some stir fry veggies that I have, uh, that I've either steamed the day before or they can be frozen and like I said it's super convenient this is my quick go-to meal so you can have uh, just a plain mix of stir-fry veggies that are frozen and just dump that bag right in there after the tofu or you can have them steamed already like I have here I'm going to set these aside and just make sure you don't get, if you get frozen veggies, that they don't have any flavoring in them. You don't want that. You just want them to be plain frozen veggies. And actually, organic vegetables are a lot cheaper to buy frozen. So that's kind of a good thing. Mm, and I'm already smelling this bay leaf. Very, very strong flavor. If you can find fresh bay leaf, much better. Okay, time for the tofu. Now I'm going to coat it with some sesame oil, about a tablespoon and a half. And now it's time for our dry seasoning. So I'm just going to take a spoon and sprinkle right over. Be sure to evenly coat all the tofu cubes. And you know, there really is this misconception about tofu that it doesn't taste good. But like I said earlier, if you can season it very well, it's excellent tasting. And it just really picks up the flavors of what it's cooking with. So if you want it to taste like chicken, use some common spices that you use for chicken. There we go. Just throw that around. I'm going to let the tofu stir fry for about two minutes or so and then add the veggies. Okay, now it's time to add our veggies in. Here I've got some nice mix of broccoli, carrots, soybeans, water chestnuts, and bamboo. I'm going to bring this heat to high now, had it on medium. 
put it on high and let it stir fry for about another five to eight minutes. And that's it. You always have to taste your food so you know if it's seasoned correctly. So let's give this a try. Hot. Just the right amount of seasoning. Perfect onion, garlic. I taste the bay leaf and the coriander. All of those spices really add to the tofu because it soaks it up like a sponge, just the way it soaks up water. Mm. We're almost done. Okay, and your meal is ready to eat. Let's plate. This meal is super filling, super healthy, and quick. What more could you ask for? Mmm, all of those spices are really coming through. Alright, that's enough for me. Super hot. Let's give this a taste. This is scrumptious, if I may say so myself. That tofu really picks up all of the herbs and spices, the garlic and onion, the sesame oil, and so do all of the vegetables. So when you season it well, tofu can be super tasty. And again, it's vegan friendly, it's fast, and it's super easy. I hope you guys enjoy this meal and try it at home. Now, for the DTV Fan of the Week, drum roll please. Angela Monjoli, thank you so much for watching and supporting Graciela TV. Lots of love to you, Angela. Thank you so much for watching Graciela TV. Make sure to like us on Facebook.com slash Graciela TV. I'll see you next time.